Thank you very much. I see the facility management industry um, actually growing. Um, the reason is because there are opportunities now more than ever for FM professionals to highlight and showcase what they do as FMs. FM is meant to do a number of things. One of them is to make your processes more efficient and um, by doing this you make gains, financial gains. So the message is for FM companies, FM practitioners, FM students to ensure that that message is taken out of the classroom to the clients now to say to them if you engage us we will reduce your cost of operations the economy has caused um, a lot of challenges within the fm industry one of those challenges is cost everybody is cost sensitive now however this challenge is also an opportunity how can we as fm professionals now ensure that we actually now practice what we preach, which is one of them is cost reduction. Another is cost avoidance. Thank you very much for that question. It, it's, it's, it's a totally new area in Nigeria, FM, FM technology. It's relatively new in the world, per se. And the FM software solution companies are not very many. Um, but for your operations to be efficient, there is a need for you to invest in technology. One of the things we have done is we saw that opportunity much earlier in the game, five, six years ago, where we invested heavily in technology. Um, technology that runs our process, technology that identifies a number of technical issues for us. So we're sort of like the ahead of the game, where a lot of FM companies are just trying to get on top of deploying technology. We have moved from that stage of using generic technology to we're talking to our solutions providers now to customize our technology for us. Technology that is appropriate for the Nigerian market. Technology that understands the limitations of the Nigerian market. I'm aware that there is currently a bill in the Senate concerning the establishment of the Nigerian Facility Management Association or institution. It's, I understand it's past the first reading. We need legislation to support the growth of our industry. One, it will separate the quacks from the main players, the serious people. Two, it will bring about what we call a level playing ground where anyone that is serious about going into the business needs to meet certain statutory or legislative responsibilities before they jump into the business. Okay, thank you. Yes, to answer your first question, the, the original document has gone through several revisions and it was the original documents and even as we still speak are being handled by, um, crafted by professionals. The second question is about the main challenges that we face as FM practitioners. One is the shortage of skills, appropriate skills for FM, hard services and soft services. Um, one is, another is lack of awareness, where the, our clients really don't know what FM is. They still believe it's the typical cleaning. So when, there's, when you say a fast, it's man, man, yeah. It's not just about cleaning. So another is issues of um, proper procurement of proper materials, standard materials. There's a proliferation of all sorts of substandard materials on the market. Again, some of the the challenges is the lack of um, the lack of um, collaboration within the industry.